Hi, thanks for tuning in. First of all, apologies, I haven't been able to make any videos lately because I've been super busy with my own creative designs and more, most importantly, I've been really busy with the homeschooling over the past few weeks and just um, wasn't able to put the time and effort into making videos. So really sorry about that and desperate to get back into it. But I have a few ideas that I wanted to share with you today and there's been a lot of creative ideas that I have been doing in the background that I don't always share on my YouTube channel and if you have been on this channel and viewing it for a while you might remember the French knitting videos that I done way back in the beginning and I made the, the nice a collar type really thick um, neck scarf and I used this this, um, this size to do it and I just wanted to show you something that I did in the new year uh, it was just I just wanted to try this out to see how it worked and what I did was this one's actually came fell down but I doubled up on all the spatulas and I used a different wool and I made a really nice scarf that I just thought I would share with people that like French knitting. Um, I'm not a big knitter but I do like working with textiles and during the new year I made this, I think it was New Year's Day or the day after and I made this really nice scarf with this and literally in an hour or two and it's really nice and I actually use it on my, my little boy sometimes because it's just a nice size and it goes round his neck and well I like it as well and it's quite airy because it's got the spaces in it um, and so you can wear it doubled up or just the twice So it's quite a nice, quite a nice kind of stitch you get. And so you're you're working quite loose, but it's quite a thick, a good width, and you've got the you have got the centre, but you don't really see it. So it's it's like a scarf, a continuous scarf. So I just thought I'd share that with you just to show you what different things you can do with. The idea of French knitting and how you can adapt it and create new designs and uh, new widths and so patterns. So that's that one. And also, I've been looking at recycling and different things you can use to to make um, tools for French knitting. And um, this is another thing that um, my dad passed on to me. Um, it's a Parma Violet tube. And this could be used for French knitting. You could use it as it is, take that out, and then just put the lollipop sticks on it or the spatulas. And you could also saw it in half, just a wee sort of one of those sort of small saws or You could probably use some kind of scissors as well if you stabbed into it first. And also, this is the, I think this is the inside of either foil or cling film. But I made some nice uh, neck scarves with this as well. And these are just a bit more dense. And as you can see, this is what I created with that and the one that I used to create it is somewhere, I can't find it just now, but so I had a longer length of this before and what I did was I cut it into three and I put, I, I used my glue gun but you could use tape and just glued the 
lollipop sticks. One, two, three, four. And made this by doing the French knitting. Using this as my tool with the lollipop sticks. And with these also what I might do in the future is add beads and things like that. You could you could make it shorter and add beads and a pendant. And it's just something different or you could use it for your ID if you just there's lots of different um things you could use it for. to make uh, different things and this is another one that I've done. So I've got quite a few and I did sell a couple in my folksy shop as well. I sold some, sold a couple of rainbow ones that I've done with, from the French knitting. So I just wanted to come on and show you the different um, ways you can use French knitting and how you can recycle things and adapt them to get different widths as you see. Um, this is a big sellotape tube. I thought that was also quite a good size and you could use that as well. So it's it's really um, a good idea and it's a great um, little project to work on and great for like girls groups and things like that as well I would I would think because it's so simple to get the hang of um and it's really enjoyable it's, it's pretty relaxing as well you just switch off so I've not done it for a while it's, I've not uh, done any French knitting since around the new year but um I did make a lot of scarves and I thought I would come on and just show you them so um, I'm going to do a little video on the chamomile essential oil and then the next one is going to be um, just some angel cards and a little bit of astrology for the full moon that's coming up. Um, I've also been doing a lot of designs and I've done a nice thistle design lately so um, I might make a video in the future just showing how uh, I made that thistle design. I do find it hard to sort of um, make videos on my creative process because a lot of the time it just sort of um, is just a spur of the moment thing and I just do it and I'm in the zone and I'm not thinking about making a video so I've got to sort of go back and then think how did I do that and try and plan out how to, to make a video to show others how they can do something similar. And I'm just a bit disorganised just now, to be honest, trying to catch up and everything, because this is the first week back um, that my wee boy's been back at school, so I've just been um, catching up with myself a little bit. So thanks for tuning in and I hope you tune into the chamomile essential oil video. Chamomile is a really nice relaxing oil and it's great for itchy dry skin conditions um, and relaxing and just calming the emotions and I'll talk about that in more detail in the next video and the following one I'll do on the, the filming. So, sorry for the absence and thanks for tuning in and look after yourself, keep being creative and I'll see you in a bit. Bye for now.